Welcome to this new video on mass storage in the 1970s. After having put a lot of efforts into the Elliott 900 series computers, I couldn't resist in bidding on the eBay auction which advertised an Elliott diagnostic program cassette. This cassette is from the Jaguar program. In the 1970s, when the Jaguar aircraft was developed, software development was taking place using paper tape. Paper tape comes in different forms. There's the fan fold version of paper tape, but also the open spools. Anyhow, using any form of this open paper tape in a remote location, like a ground station for aircraft maintenance, is a challenging or even impossible task. So the solution was putting the paper tape into a rugged cassette. Together with a program loading unit, which is a heavy box, the software was loaded into the computer in the nose section of the Jaguar aircraft. This picture shows the NAFA system inside XX764, which is a Jaguar which is maintained by Knight Atterbury, and thanks for the permission for using that picture. After a journey of around two weeks, the cassette arrived safely at my home. Inspection shows that the reels inside are driven by magnets from the program loading unit. Inside the cassette, there is a cylindric lens for focusing the light through the cassette onto the paper tape. Eight small light guides make the light available to photodiodes inside the program loading unit. Now it is fun comparing the storage size of this cassette with more modern media. Magnetic tapes hold between 1 million and 10 million times the capacity of this paper tape cassette. Modern flash drives or USB sticks are much smaller and easily hold 100 times the amount of data than this paper tape cassette. The tape inside the cassette is not an ordinary paper tape, but it is made from very thin mylar tape which is coated by aluminum. Of course, it was mandatory to digitize this material. Therefore, I removed the complete tape from the cassette and used my Fazit N4000 paper tape reader for making a digital copy. On the tape, there are four different softwares. So there are a memory test, then there are the test software for the NAFRA system itself, and probably some reduced type program and patches. During reading, the Mylar tape formed a nice self-organized pattern on my floor, somehow like a flower. The final task was back converting the mess of Mylar tape into a nice reel and putting that back into the cassette. Very helpful here was a motorized tool. Thanks for watching this video.